How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about you being unique, how you deal with life is unique, right? How you deal with, with learning anything in your life is absolutely unique. And how you approach and deal with quitting drinking alcohol is going to be unique as well. It's just nobody else is going to do it in exactly the same way as you. Nobody else is going to quit drinking in exactly the same way as me. I mean, the, the essential element of this is the same. No matter which way you do it, you have to not put the alcohol in, right? That's, that's the first fundamental thing, right? You can't quit drinking without doing that. But for me, not drinking long term, um, keeping this up in the long term, revolves around pushing yourself forwards into the life that you want right and that life is unique to you right that journey is unique to you what you're going to learn um, the skills that you're going to have to acquire to get you where you want to go are all going to be unique to you you know there's going to be so many similarities with other people but at the end of the day step-by-step -step approach to this is unique and i wanted to put that into some kind of a, a perspective and it's Something that I heard uh, about a pack of playing cards I was listening to, a documentary just about numbers, and um, sort of it fascinates me because I'm not really good at it, right? Uh, and they were talking about a pack of playing cards and that if you shuffle a pack of playing cards, uh, uh, you will almost be guaranteed that that shuffle the way you've shuffled those cards and that, as you lay them out, 52 cards, will have never been done the same way in the universe before and will never be done again, right? And I know that sounds extraordinary, right? You know, there's been arguments the same, well, you know, like if you start out with the same pack of cards, right? You know, obviously when you take a clean pack of cards out and you shuffle it up, you're starting out with the same um, sequence, you know? And they're all laid out the same way. So you have more likelihood of getting a uh, the same shuffle then but if you get a random deck of cards that's been shuffled a few times then the chances of getting the same shuffle are what they call factorial 52 right and factorial 52 is 8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 67 right and that is just an enormous number look that's the number here this is the number that's the number of, that's the, the odds of you getting this. Now that's 52 different shuffles, 52 different cards. Now the reason I'm saying this to you is because since you were born, right, every piece of knowledge that has come into your head has had to be interpreted in a specific way, which is completely unique to you, right? And all those bits of knowledge add up. So... Imagine 52 cards and, you know, shuffling them in a random way gets you, you know, so many, the chances are absolutely zero. Imagine all the millions of bits of information that's going into your mind all the time. And what are the chances that any two people really think alike? So the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, what works for some one person is not going to work for another person you know what works for for one person might not work for you right and don't let anybody else dictate how you should do things because you are unique you respond uniquely to different things you respond uniquely to different sights and sounds and smells uh, touches right you respond uniquely to everything everything you see and do you respond in your own way to it you know, so don't be afraid to blaze your own trail, to go your own way and do your own thing, right? This is what life is all about, right? And as I say, you know, in order to get the gap from where you are now to where you want to be, you've got to mostly listen to yourself. You know, you've got to mostly listen to what you want to do. And don't let anybody else even suggest that you do something different. You know, obviously, if you're going in a, in a bad direction and somebody else can see it, then... You know, it's worth listening to other people in that sense. But, you know, when somebody's saying something to you that you can't make sense of and you don't know why they're saying it to you, there's no 
rhyme or reason, they just seem to be criticizing you, then don't listen to them, you know? You know, so really it's, you know, stop believing that you are just a, a set of circumstances and that's the way you live life, you know? You, you're not that at all. You're completely unique and you have to live your life according to that. You have to push yourself forwards according to that. You have to start having unwavering belief in yourself that you can do this. Unwavering belief. And that means telling yourself over and over and over again that you can do this. Cutting things down into the smallest chunks. You know, taking every skill and breaking it down and down and down until you've got a manageable chunk that you can you can deal with. And what that does is it not only moves you forward step by step, but it gives you self-confidence, right? Every step that you move forward, everything that you do right gives you the self-confidence that you can do the next step and the next step and the next step after that. That's what it's all about. You know, that's how anybody gets skills. You know, some people are set on the path, the right path earlier on in their lives by whoever, you know, they might have a mentor, maybe a parent or a friend who sets them off in the right direction. Other people don't, you know, and it takes a bit longer for that to happen. Some people were on the right path and have just got off it and need to get themselves back on the right path. Some people were on a path and they found that that path is not any longer fulfilling what they want to do in their life. So they have to choose a different path. No matter what it is, just make sure that you plan where you want to go, see where you want to go in your eye, um, in your mind's eye, uh, push yourself forwards towards that goal, break down the skills that you need, you know, figure out what skills that you need, break them down into the smallest chunks that you can um, are manageable for you, and then just do it step by step by step. Don't listen to anyone else, right? Don't allow anybody else to tell you that you fucking can't do this because you can, right? Everybody can do this, you know? Everybody can do this. I have uh, a young nephew. He's just turned 18. He's got Down syndrome. And uh, he, he wants to be a, a, a waiter, right? He wants to, you know, he loves it. He loves just talking to people and being with people. And just to watch this guy pursuing what he wants to do. And he's got a lot of help from other people. But, you know, uh, the big smile on this guy's face, I tell you what, it would light up your heart, you know, when you see it. You know, he is the, the most authentic person that I know, right? He's 18 years of age. Uh, uh, and he's the most authentic person that I know. He's the, the, the person who is, he just shows you what he, what he, what he feels in his heart and what he thinks in his head, he tells you, you know, and it's all good, you know, there's no, no badness in him at all. So look, I just thought I'd share that with you. That was a nice guy. Um, anyway, until next time, if you uh, want to come over to the website, alcoholmastery.com, we've just got a lot of stuff over there, a lot of resources for helping you to quit drinking if that's what you want to do. Um, we've got over 500 videos, they're all categorized. Uh, we've got a, a daily newsletter that you can be sent out to you, you know, with a daily email, a daily video. Um, we've video courses and audio books and uh, e-books and we've also got some one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. So uh, if you fancy any of that stuff, come on over to alcoholmastery.com. I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com and until next time, stay safe, keep the alcohol out of your mouth, onwards and upwards. Take care of yourself, okay? Good luck to you. All right.